Unfortunately, a lot of my designs are turned into counterfeit pins. Now, these are sold on places like AliExpress, Etsy, Wish, Vinted, Poshmark, and even Amazon. They're normally sold at really, really low price, and they're sometimes marketed like this. Why would you buy that? Sometimes they even use my photos <laughs> for their listings. So I decided to spend my hard earned cash, buy some for myself so that we can unbox them and review them and see what you really get for your money. So first of, first things first, I will say, some of them I don't think have arrived. I ordered these back in August and it is now November. I only have three packages here and I placed nine orders, but one of them didn't go through. It had 11 items on it and it didn't go through. So I should have eight pins, I believe. Some of them are definitely ones that are using my photos. So I chose to get these from AliExpress and we will see <laughs> what they are like. I'm gonna go for this box, very small box. Uh, I don't know how I'm gonna match these up with the actual listings, but I'll try my best. Cause I mean, they're all really similar. Oh, look at that. It came, they came in a little snazzy box. Oh my god <laughs> oh my god okay i'm not gonna reveal it to you just yet <laughs> oh this is this is fun this is really squishy it's like cellophane in a little um box oh that's that's quite fun let's get some asmr <laughs> okay so these are two Felix pins. Oh, push. Oh, oh, okay. First off, I can just hear that they don't feel good quality. So I'm gonna look at this first one. This one has no glitter, so that might help me find the listing. I'm gonna guess it's this one. Uh, it looks like they've used my photo for the two pins. Um, there's multiple options. There's this one with glitter. There's this one with glitter. There's this one with glitter. I mean, look at that. And this one with glitter. Interestingly, they've sent me one without glitter. They also have my Wolfsbane, Polyjuice, and uh, a Mortentia. So let's let's compare, shall we? So I used to sell them without glitter. It was actually an error, but I offered them anyway and people bought them. But it was, you know, a limited time thing. So this is my pin without glitter that I sold a long, long time ago. And this is the counterfeit version. Can you see? Oh my God, this is really hard. Look at it. Just look at that. First of all, it's soft enamel. Only one of my pins was soft enamel and that was my first one, which is hot air balloon. So any of my other pins are hard enamel, which means if you've bought a pin that you think is my design from somewhere else and it's soft enamel and looks like this, it is a counterfeit pin. It's super bright on the camera. So I'm gonna have to try and show you these separately, but the green is awful. It's, it shouldn't even be green, it should be blue. It should be a nice pale blue on the label and the glass. And instead it is a, an awful green turquoise dark color. The metal work is awful. It's like so small as well compared to my pin. It's got a metal back. It's really light compared to my pin and it's silver plated. All of my pins are gold plated. Well, no, not all of them. That is a total lie. That is a lie. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Most of my pins are gold plated. This one should definitely be gold plated. So what they basically do is they do like um, an auto trace thing. They take photos of my pins and they use um, something like um, Adobe Illustrator to auto trace the design and then they make it themselves. 
And that is terrible. So that's the first one. Next up in the same package is the glitter version. And oh my God, it gets even worse. What is this glitter? The glitter's so dark. I mean, it is pretty sparkly. I'll, I'll give them that. It's pretty sparkly, but it's really dark. So this is what my pin should actually look like. And this is what you get. Again, it's tiny. It has a really horrible color um, label and the bottle and the glitter is dark and chunky, like super, super chunky. And it's just awful. Okay, so that was the first package. I am impressed that, that with this though, although I'm not because it's plastic and all of my pins go out with just cardboard um, because you know, I'm environmentally friendly, but it feels good. I might just keep this as something to play with. That was it for that box. So next up, Let's do this bag. Oh, okay, it looks like there's multiple packages in here. <gasps> like, I can't see any order numbers. Oh, 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 815. Okay. So this one, I believe, should be... Oh, I can't see it. It won't let me open it. Should be a Moonchild pin. So that is definitely not my image. At least they've bothered to take their own photo this time. And I can tell straight away because of the fact that is uh, soft enamel. And doesn't have any glitter on. Again, um, there was an error a long, long time ago where one of my Moonchild pins didn't have any glitter on it. Um, so I sold them um, as like a limited, a limited thing. More plastic. This is big. This is huge. So this one's £1.43. What a bargain. Do you know what? It's not as terrible as the Felix pins. It's not terrible. It's not right. It's also not focusing. So again, it's got a horrible metal back and it's soft enamel. You can tell because it's kind of like got recessed enamel. It's like more 3D um, compared to, this is what it should look like. So mine's hard enamel, it's got glitter in it. And they come with colored backs. But look at the size difference. So mine's on, on this side, and this is the counterfeit. It's freaking huge, but the quality is not horrendous, like I said, but it is soft enamel, and it does feel, it does feel cheap. The lines are not as sharp as on mine, and the stars are a slightly different shape. They're not very defined or very good. But all in all, for £1.43, I'd say not bad. So, can I mark this one as, as arrived? No, but I can write a review, which I will be doing. Okay, uh, on to the next package. So this, oh, there's two in here. Okay, so this one, I believe should be waiting for my letter enamel pin. And again, looks like they've taken their own photo because it's soft enamel. This is £1.27. What a bargain. So this is actually an old version. I have two versions of my waiting for my letter enamel pin. The original, which looks like this, again, has glitter. Most of my pins do have glitter. A lot of these counterfeits do not. And like I said, they're soft enamel because it's cheaper. So they're looking to make them as cheaply as possible. So this was the original. And then I slightly redesigned it. This one just has glitter on the um, little wax seal. So I redid the, the writing and changed it to just have glitter in the wax seal. Um, so this is, this is the official version now.
I think this one's small. Bubble wrap and plastic inside a bubble wrap bag. I mean, at least they take their protection seriously. Nah, that's well wonky. The envelope is so wonky. Why is it wonky? Why is it not a rectangle? Again, what more can I say? It's cheaply made, it's soft enamel, there's no glitter. It's got a metal cheap back on it. Even the plating isn't good. And that color of the uh, wax seal is not good at all. So let me, I'll, I'll compare it to the original um, with the, the, the same writing. Like they have literally copied my handwriting. I just find it creepy, it's just weird. Original on this side, the bigger one, and the counterfeit on the right hand side. So again, this one was like £1.27. So absolute bargain if you want a piece of soft enamel, absolute. More from the same. Please ignore any banging you can hear from downstairs. In fact, I think I'm gonna have to phone Paul because he's being very noisy. Okay, back to this one. So I think this one could be another Felix. So this one looks like it's hard enamel and has glitter. Oh, more plastic. Again, it's freaking tiny. <laughs> it's a luminous yellow. And the cork's not even like cork colored. The cork's like blue, but it is hard enamel and it feels pretty smooth, but it's a horrible color. Okay, so the little, little one, the bright yellow, luminous yellow. It's the counterfeit, and mine is on the left-hand side. This one cost me, or oh, I don't know how much it cost me, but right now it's £1.39. Absolute bargain if you want something that looks like it's, I don't know, radioactive. I don't think the stars are the same shape. Nope, the stars are a different shape. The colors are off, and it has a horrible cheap metal back. Okay, onto the next one, onto the next one. So this one feels like it might be another multi package one. Yeah. Oh yeah, three, three, three. This one should be uh, a moon child pin. Again, a lot of these are actually gonna be exactly the same pin, to be honest. They've used the same photo from the other moon child pin. So it's probably from the same people. Yeah, that is exactly the same. Soft enamel, not very good line work, and freaking huge. I'm just comparing it to the other counterfeit. That's exactly the same, so I'm not even gonna go into too much detail because there is no difference. What have we got here? So this one should be another waiting for my letter. Vegetable lapel pins. What? <laughs> Why vegetable? Why are they down on here as a vegetable lapel pins? I'm just going to compare it to the um, other counterfeit because I have a feeling it's going to be exactly the same. Uh, yep, it is exactly the same. Same horrible colour, same small size. Like even the envelope isn't white. The envelope should be like a bright white and it's like a, a dull greyish colour. Mine's a nice white colour. Can you see it's more of a bluish and small. So, not much to say on that. It's exactly the same. They must be like the same shop or the same manufacturers selling them under different stores. This one, this is the last one. And this is another, this is another vegetable lapel pins. So it might, is it the same? No, it's not the same listing because the one we just opened has nine orders and five stars. This one has five orders and no stars, but it's exactly the same price. It's got exactly the same pins, other pins listed on it. So it must be from the same seller. Yeah, it's exactly the same. Oh, well that's disappointing. I was hoping to see lots of different ugly pins, but I've got three waiting for my letter pins in exactly the same awful colors, exactly the same awful line work. 
Yeah, there is no difference at all. Basically what happens, um, as I said, is they tend to, the factories tend to um, trace your design, make it themselves. Sometimes they even steal your photos um, and then they list them on sites like AliExpress, um, I think DH, I can't remember what it's called, is it DH Gate? It might be DHgate, um, sometimes Alibaba. And then what happens is stores and other places purchase them and then they, it, it spiders out like a, like a web. And they're everywhere from then. They're on Amazon, they're on Etsy, they're on Wish, they're on Vintage, they're on Poshmark, um, they're on people's own websites. And it's a freaking nightmare to get them taken all down, uh, like to get them all taken down. And the thing that I've tried to concentrate the most on is getting them taken down from this source so aliexpress um and unfortunately on places like etsy there's no image searching so i have to type in potion pin potion enamel pin felix enamel pin and search through hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of listings to see if there are any that match mine now thankfully i have copyrighted all of my designs i have paid to have the copyright of these designs which means i am legally well within my rights to get them taken down but i shouldn't have to and it's really really frustrating when they look like <laughs> um unfortunately the ones that didn't arrive yeah there were 11 items all the details all of these didn't go through which is frustrating because I would have liked to see those, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Now you've seen the type of quality you could potentially end up with um, when you buy cheap pins from AliExpress and Wish and other similar places. Um, and as you can see, a lot of the times, they look nothing like the photos because they've taken my photos. And this isn't just me, this happens to a lot of other small businesses. And unfortunately, it's something that we have to deal with on a regular basis and keep on top of. And it is an absolute waste of my time. But I will continue to do it because it bugs the hell out of me. So excuse me while I go and take all of these listings down so that nobody else ends up with this in their home <laughs> thank you so much for watching and coming along your support means the absolute world to me if you've ever bought a pin from my store thank you so much for choosing me and not uh to buy a counterfeit goods <laughs> um i love you guys and i will be back again soon for another video bye for now